Henceforth, this is what the video is going to be this week, which is, again, me painting on brown paper bags that I got from the bookstore. Which, by the way, the bookstore was Barnes & Noble, but I didn't know if I should, like, put a picture of it in the video, because I have no idea how any of that works. But, anyway, I decided to do two brown paper bags and do two different kinds of drawings on them. One of them, he's more of, like, a edgier look so it's gonna be mostly black and red and you could see that he's got a bandage on his face and when I color him later on he's gonna have like a little bit of scrapes so it's kind of more of like the edgy a uh, fighting I don't even know if it's necessarily fighting but like just just the edgy guy whatever <laughs> okay so for the other bag I wanted to do someone who is like the complete opposite so it's still a guy but very bubbly pastel kind of like cute thing going on to kind of contrast with the edgy thing because I didn't want to do two of the same design then it would look kind of like repetitive so I told myself I have to try and do two opposite ones so it could feel like I uh, spent my time wisely on them and didn't just fixate on the one thing that I like. I made sure to kind of differentiate on their um, features as well like the edgier guy his eyes look a little bit more intense, while the pastel -y guy kind of has much more open uh, eyes, so ultimately they look more inviting and just his overall vibe feels different compared to the edgy guy, which looks a little bit like done with everything. So I wanted to kind of push that through and the sketch came out really cool, I really liked it. So I started off using uh, Posca pens for the bag, but the more I used the Posca pens, the more it tore up the paper instead of actually like filling it up with the color which was kind of like nerve-wracking because I didn't want to ruin the paper I just wanted to paint on top of it because you know Posca pens are uh, like marketed as something that you could paint on anything with and uh, you can it just doesn't mean you should <laughs> because some things can't take the surface of the paint or the nib and it just doesn't mix right like it works beautifully on canvas but it doesn't necessarily work as great on paper so you just have to find the right thing to use the Posca markers on and then it'll work great. I did use them however for like outlining things because it's a much more specific uh, size nib and it's much easier to outline with them because of that instead of using the paintbrush because I'm not very skilled with the paintbrush I painted a lot a while ago, by a lot I mean like for a good few months, but <laughs> but then I was like okay I'm kind of like, I like markers better so that's why that was my main medium. Um, one thing about painting is that it's ugly, it's ugly 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 until <laughs> you get to the finished part. So that's literally the one uh, medium where you're gonna have to make sure you trust the process because it's gonna not look cute at all until you finally finish the entire design which is like right here you can see he's coming together really nicely it actually looks pretty decent compared to what it started off as where it was kind of just like a, a mess so yeah this is a medium that you're gonna have to be patient with because of that i use acrylic paint for this entire thing i think inside the posca markers is acrylic paint or it's water-based paint i can't actually remember but it's it's all paint. I didn't use oil paint because I just don't use oil paint. <laughs> I don't like using it. It's very, uh, very messy. And, um, I like things drying. I, d <laughs> I like, I like the paint to dry instead of waiting three or four weeks for it to dry. So there's also that factor. So knowing the whole Posca knowledge now with the second bag, I just straight up went in with my acrylic paints, which were, uh, Apple Barrel. They're like literally 50 cents for the bottle at Walmart and uh, you could get like a buttload of colors for a really cheap price and use them to your advantage and there's a lot inside like I, I mean, well I guess a lot for me because I don't paint all the time but like when I did paint more uh, I it seemed to like go really far with me it, it lasted a while so 50 cents for paint that could last a while and it's really it's really good quality I don't know why people are like wow it's it's horrible paint it's probably because some colors do um 
dry lighter or darker than when they're originally put down but uh, honestly that's like a lot of fancy products too within the art world so it's just how you use the products more than anything and honestly for 50 cents uh i'm not complaining at all because i refuse to buy expensive paints because i'm already working with an expensive medium which was the markers so yeah we gotta we gotta give somewhere you know the, that's the only way to do it i also want to say that um this took a very long time i think five hours total that's why this footage is so sped up because i was like ain't nobody sitting here for five hours watching paint dry i know i didn't want to sit here and watch paint dry the whole time i was like yo i know exactly why i do uh like markers or pencils or pens because it's immediate i don't have to sit here and wait for things to dry although i do really enjoy painting it's actually pretty like relaxing weirdly enough because the colors are so opaque and you don't really have to build up too much depending on the color and it's just overall it looks nice i just like the way paint looks um not the way it smells though it stunk it stunk really bad <laughs> the entire time i was like why does this paint stink the one thing that i really do like um from the outcome of both paper bags is i feel like i can really feel their personalities on the bag so like you definitely have the more bubblegum guy who's like really happy but then you also have the edgy like pretty boy thing going on so I, I really like the dynamic between the two and I'm definitely gonna use these bags when I go to uh, the bookstore next time so yeah thanks for watching and remember I love you bye